Hello my dear friends, in this video I'm going to discuss with you uh, how to adjust uh, settings after changing your magnetron. Uh, first of all, why you need to change the magnetron? There are uh, cases where you need to change magnetron. Tip, uh, technically, uh, once it has reached its uh, lifetime, you need to change your magnetron. And where to find out this information is from your from the manual. here your manual uh, 6.2 life expectancy of major parts right it says magnetron for x band this is for x band 5000 hours and for s band is 7000 hours right check number of hours at the TX and reset, right? reset after replacement right okay so uh, this is how you find out but it is not always the case that uh, once you have reached the uh, lifetime hours you need to change no 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 need actually it can run uh, further a few more hours right but if uh, when you when you uh, do your performance uh, monitor test uh, then there you will find out how good your uh, echoes are and how good the magnetron is how to do this performance test I have done a separate video please watch that so that uh, you will see how to do the performance uh, monitor on on the radar that is yeah that is the way to find out uh, whether your magnetron needs a replacement even without doing it say your your still uh, after doing performance uh, monitor you will see good arcs and uh, your uh, your um, how do you call uh, your tr your echoes will look good but here in where, where in this uh, in this part of the uh, screen you will see some uh, error messages uh, typically you will see video error and you will lose all your tra all your target echoes you will see only the only the uh, AIS targets but not this yellow echoes right so you will typically see these all these errors azimuth headline key RF trigger TT system error video so that means you try to you should find out what the problem is sometimes when you keep the radar switched on for some times and it can uh, it can work uh, back in good order otherwise you do the performance monitor and see whether your uh, radar need a uh, radar magneton needs a replacement after all that if uh, if your radar is not working then you need to change the uh, no, magneton. Magneton will be changed by the ship's electrician. It is fixed in the antenna unit and after doing it there is some certain certain uh, uh, settings to do, right? This is what you need to do. I will uh, keep just uh, explain. Set gain to zero, anti-clutter rain to zero, anti-clutter C to zero. Switch the radar on and leave the unit in standby mode stand by for 30 minutes right okay then put the radar into tx mode and leave on 48 nautical miles for 30 minutes then set the gain 70 and anti-clutter rain 0 anti-clutter c is 50 right then carry out the tune initialize how to carry out the tune initialize is you go to uh, menu go to menu go to echo and tune initialize right so you press tune initialize then it will initialize tuning right after that after that after that normally the radar should uh, show a good picture like this all your echoes should uh, appear in uh, should appear prominently once that is done you need to change the magnetron uh, you need to reset the magnetron hours so typically uh, this is something that you might not know and that is also not in the in the in the manual uh, in the manual there is no way it is not mentioned I couldn't find but luckily one, uh, last time when I changed uh, the magnetron I learned from the from the technician how to change how to change it now here since I changed it recently you have this initialize zero on the menu but if you have not done it for a long time for a long time you will not see it how to do it is keep uh, number one this on your keypad you have the, have the keypad right here number one just keep command okay. 
keep number one on your keypad pressed and at the same time keep uh, sorry keep number one pressed on your keypad and at the same time press menu for five times see one two three four five it will open up the initialize uh, menu then go to go to others no sorry go to for installation and here you have the tx time on time whatever you can reset it and this will uh, then you know when uh, when when, uh, when it uh, reaches the life expectancy hours then you know the, that uh, you know it needs a replacement so that is how you change your magneton hours once again keep number one pressed and press menu five times at the same time two three four five right go to installation and go to tx time and make it zero and that's it okay guys uh, thank you for watching i hope this is helpful